You've called for a, a public inquiry um, yeah. into James's death. You, it's, you keep saying the things that you haven't been answered in particular are these 14 questions. Yeah. What is it that you what is it you need answering? What do you feel like you haven't been told? Well, there are so many questions because one of the questions I have asked for years was, was James sexually abused? And I was protected so much that they wouldn't give me the answer to that, but now I'm learning different. You know, is it, is it, was that a, looking back on that retrospectively and uh, uh, what you'd all gone through and were having to go through and would go through for your whole lives, was it, did you, did you really want to know that? In the beginning, I wanted to know exactly what happened to James because at the end of the day, he's still, he's my son. And, you know, I thought, just kick me while I'm down because I couldn't have got any lower. Mm. But, you know, as I was you know, moving on with my life, I chose, you know, I didn't want to know what yeah. happened to him because I didn't want to go back to, down to where I was. Uh, but with all this coming up now, the questions are coming back. Well, you've only just recently, very recently, found out what happened. Yeah. Um, and we won't go into the details uh, here, but uh, but it, it was horrific. Um, and knowing what you know now about mm. how he had been so brutally sexually abused before he was killed, um, how does that make you think about his killers? It's made me more determined to get justice for them. I know I've, I've fought all these years, but I'm determined to, to carry this on now. So what would be justice? Well, to be quite honest with you, I, I wanted them to spend time in Nettle Prison. I want, I want all my questions answered now. Yeah. And I don't want no lies, I don't want no cover-ups or nothing like that. I just want to be told the truth. Mm. Yeah. That, then I would, I, I think I'd have some closure then. Mm. The um, the other question that's uh, being raised at the moment, and I think there is actually a case uh, in the High Court, uh, whether or not he should still be entitled to a life of anonymity. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm on two minds on that because I'm quite scared in case someone's mistaken as one of them two and sort of bad happens to someone it innocent. To the past as well. It has happened yeah. in the past, right. Um, I don't want no one to suffer. You know, all I wanted was them two to have, you know, spend time in adult prison and then they would have been walking free men now anyway and I wouldn't have had to campaign or fight anything. I had to go on with my life and thought, well, at least they'd done some time in adult prison. And that's all I... I'd never said lock them up and throw away the key. I've never... I knew one day they would walk, but I didn't think they'd walk so soon after being in the Young Offenders. Yeah. Well, he is a repeat offender, quite yeah. obviously. Can he be rehabilitated? I don't believe he can. Because, as I say, all the money that's been spent on him, he, he's just laughing at everyone. He's laughing at the government, he's laughing at us, because he knows he can get away with it and he's doing whatever he wants, and he is still getting away with it. You've, you've said that um, the evidence of the abuse wasn't presented at the trial, it wasn't presented to the parole boards in either 2001 or 2013. Do you know that to be the case, or is that an assumption that it wasn't presented to? It was obviously, um, just solicitor, obviously, he's dealt with it all, and obviously that's what he looked into, and that's why he's wrote the opinion on behalf of Denise and raised that as one of the 14 points, and that's why you've, um, the petition was set up, mm -hmm. and to reach over 200,000 um, signatures yeah. is, um, just shows that the public support Denise has got, mm -hmm. and for the government just to, to reject it, and blatantly just... Well, that public inquiry has been uh, rejected and, uh, and, and the government says the offender was convicted of further offences as a direct result of robust and effective monitoring. Therefore, the government considers that a public inquiry into this tragic case is not necessary. Um, but your questions uh, surround this, the, the new uh, information yeah. about this horrific sexual abuse. Yeah, uh, I as I say, I just want the questions answered now and I want to know why they've rejected the petition as well. Doesn't public opinion count anymore? Yeah. That's what I, I want to know why they've rejected it and why did they pick? Because they were meant to respond us after we reached over 10,000 signatures, which we've done that. Um, never got no response, response forward from them. Um, they chose to respond on the 25th anniversary of James uh, when we were getting ready to go to, and spend the day at the cemetery and they even got his name wrong. So, you know, uh, it's all, and you found out that it had been thrown out by hearing it on Twitter as well. Someone tagged me in t into the thing on, on Twitter to say, have you seen this? And I just, and I, as I say, I was getting ready to go to the cemetery and got it with that. How oh, hard is it for you so to, to prop, prop, prop her up? I mean, the role of a, a husband and obviously a father as well, I mean, you should always be there to support your wife and children. Unfortunately, these circumstances, I mean, it is a unique case. But again, I think that's just the strength of us as a family. We just, 
we, we are there for Denise, and obviously that's what we can do, just be strong for her, support her. And I think that's what you've been saying all this time as well, especially with social media, is the support she's getting, mm -hmm. and she finds that so fantastic. Oh, we can see that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, just, I can't thank people enough for the way they've stood by me. Without that support, I wouldn't have been able to carry on. Mm -hmm. So I've got to, you know, personally thank them. You know, for all the signatures that we've had on that petition, but I'm still asking people to keep on signing it because I am not going to give up. Do you think your 14 points will ever be answered? I'm open, so I've got to get, I've got to get some answers, haven't I, for all the questions that's been going around to me every year. Mm -hmm. I've got to get some answers to Doesn't them. Doesn't seem now. too much to ask, does it, for the loss no, you've suffered, no. that's for sure. Exactly. But now I've got um, other lads now, and they're not kids anymore, they're the young men. So, I mean, I've got to protect them from all this now as well. Yeah. You know, they're on social media, so they're going to get to read it. Mm. Uh, the, the three absolutely amazing lads, aren't they? And on James's anniversary, they did put a smile on my face because when I went to the kitchen, there was a massive big bouquet of flowers uh. and it, the lovely little message that was written on it, you know, saying, you know, that you've had some hard, hard times and we're here for you and just talk to us if you need. And I was just like... And that was from my boys, and I thought, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, hold on to that. Oh, That's I will what do. That's about. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.